Nice. <laughs> so, welcome to the campus on Belleval. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, uh, this is the campus of Belleval. Belleval means good valley, nice valley. And this is the whole area where, in former times, on the campus, um, on this area here, the Luxembourg steel production facility was. It was a major steel production because Luxembourg was one of the major countries with the largest steel production. Uh, the history goes back because they found ore here which contained iron and then you know, about a hundred years it, it developed into a major steel production site. And what you see there in the back, these are the train tracks that transported the steel after it was formed and cooked basically in the furnaces. It was taken along uh, and transported to the whole world. By now, there's a new train station. You see this more modern, roundish building. That's the new train station of this because about 15 years ago, they changed the entire steel production site into a university campus. So it is really like Newton's dam standing on the shoulder of giants. Here they transformed a, a big steel production facility uh, into a knowledge industrial facility, a university. So they, the Luxembourg did not have a university before 2000. And only in the year 2003, this university was founded, as I said, the first one in the country. Now, up to that point, every high school student who was accepted by any university in the world received a scholarship by the state and could study wherever he or she wanted. And the Luxembourgians were actually quite proud to that all their students studied in, in somewhere in the world. So was the funding available for everyone who was accepted? At the time, at, this uh, has Before changed. having a university. Yeah. You still get a very nice uh, bourse, as it's called, a scholarship. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. So in 2003, they did established the university. And this is now 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Just this year, there was the 20th anniversary of this university. Yes. And I saw that they said that at first it was a startup and then now it's the university. Was it or? Well, there was a predecessor for the university which was called University Center and you could only study the first two semesters in mm -hmm. some topics. But then they established the, the big university. So now on this campus, which as I said was the steel production site, there's a shopping center, hotels, um, residential buildings, student dormitories, but also uh, many research centers. So as what you see here is uh, now a new city. This is called the Belle City. And over there you see in the back, you see this gray building. Yes. This is now the library, or it's called the Knowledge Center. This used to be a part of the steel production site. They modernized everything, the facade, everything mm. is new now. But inside there's the, uh, the library. Yes. And it's, it's one of the most marvelous architectures that I have seen. You also still see here the, tr the tracks, the steel, they're going, it's like a train track going mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you come a little bit closer, you see that this is where they were coming with the ore and the iron containing. Mm -hmm. So they transported 
mountains have of course cut off now coming from the train tracks over there and then what they did they took this ore and they transported it all the way up those are the furnaces which were the steel production the steel cooking so to speak mm -hmm. and and uh, so this they had i think a total of three or four of those on 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 this site here um and if you want to sort of fire that this has to run day and night mm -hmm. if you want to cook steel um you have to provide a lot of fresh air oxygen you have to heat it up um and and so they when they decided to disassemble this steel production site they took one of them completely disassembled it mm -hmm. and sent it over to china oh and it was reassembled <laughs> Uh -huh. um, and the other one is, is only, you know, those are residuals. These are not working anymore. Those are now monuments. What, what happened? Why they decided to, you know, destroy the, the Steel factory? Steel production? Yeah. Because the competition from China, Brazil, Japan in mm -hmm. steel production was too high. You, it, it's just, it just wasn't profitable anymore. Mm -hmm. There is still steel production in Luxembourg. Um, it has now, it, uh, the owner is uh, Arcelor Mittal. It's an Indian. So it's not governmental? <laughs> no, mm -hmm. no, it's a private company. They still have, I think, two or three or five thousand people. I don't know exactly. Uh, on this side here. But they have specialized in special steel. Mm -hmm. So, for example, they make this steel, it's like an H, um, this, the steel pawls. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very high and they can only deviate a few millimeters on a very long and not many places in the world are able to do that. Mm -hmm. There have also been companies that were a spin-off from the steel production that are specializing in very hard metals, special mixtures of metals. So um, yeah, so this is the, the campus. It's Belval Plaza here. There's yeah. a lot of shops down here and restaurants for the students. Uh, in here, there are dormitories. Students can live there. Oh, here? Yeah, some oh, of them. Uh, this is not a dormitory, uh, but okay. you can. Many, many professors live in these buildings. They mm. bought them, or rent them. Um, yeah, there's a hotel inside. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a city. What What is your opinion exactly about this university? You know, now you you work in many universities you have studied also many universities what is your opinion about this one so i think it has become a really really nice uh, university um, luxembourg has three languages yes as official languages french german and luxembourgian those are the official languages and um, so when you come and study here it's very easy to learn all languages. Mm -hmm. Some of the lectures are in French, uh, particularly if you study law or things, all the legal code is uh, still historically based on the Code Napoleon, which was established uh, 300 years ago, 200 years ago. And, and so you learn French. You, of course, all students speak English. Many lectures are in English. I would actually say in the, in the sciences, most of them. Um, <clears throat> so by now it's a very good university and it has a PhD program, of course, a bachelor and masters. There are some specializations which I think are some of the best in Europe. For example, in law, where you have a, uh, a connection to European law. Mm -hmm. Because here is the European Court of Justice, yeah. the European Investment Bank. Those are institutions that are from the European Union, located here in Luxembourg. Yes. Luxembourg was one of the founders of the European Union. Um, there's also, of course, finance. A big, you know, there are some of the biggest financial institutions here in the country. Um, so if you study finance, I think this is a place where you can do this very well. Yeah. But then our role was to build up uh, a center for systems, biomedicine and, and medicine. The medical faculty has now been established, mm -hmm. medical school, uh, teaching, education. So I think it's very attractive now to study here. This was not the case 10 years ago. Yeah. So it's a very rapidly 
evolving modern university. Yeah. And is it the first campus of the University of Luxembourg? No, no. There was a pre-campus in the northern part, mm -hmm. and there's a second campus still exists in Kirchberg, where all the European institutions are. Mm -hmm. But that's in law and, and finance. And here's the main campus. This, this is the core campus. Oh, it's really windy now. And uh, where are the courses? Where are the classes? No, I didn't find anything oh. here. No? Okay, I, I didn't you. see anything. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you see the black building in the, in the oh, back? Oh, yes. This is a double twin I show you in a minute. Mm. Actually, on this side. So the red buildings here that you see, mm -hmm. those is not university building. These yeah. are buildings of a bank. Mm -hmm. um, BIL, Banque Internationale de Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. um, I think they have now changed ownership again. So anyway, so this is a, a, a private part, but all the course, most of the courses are in this plaque building that you see in the back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And there is um, uh, a, a long, you, we will see it in a minute. Yeah, sure. This is where the courses are. Mm -hmm. This is where the rector is, the, all the administration of the university, the okay. lecture hall. So the rest, for example, what is this one? Is it? belong to the university or no, it's another? No, thing? this is another research center uh -huh. um, and some of it is again banks and so it's a mixed use it's not only university um, yeah uh, yeah more, you know in my opinion it's really hard to, <laughs> to distinguish the buildings no the, it's, it's really a mixture. mixture yes yeah yeah it's a uh, that the, that was the purpose they did not want to develop an isolated campus, mm -hmm. but they wanted it to become a city where the university is embedded in this building, in, in the, all these campus buildings. Yes. So it's mixed use. So you see this is very modern facade. Yes. But there's a meaning behind. When the, this was a, a hall uh, where they did some derivatives of steel production. I, I forgot what exactly it was. Um, but it was full of glass windows. And these glass windows in the course of 50 years had become gray mm -hmm. and intransparent. You couldn't look out anymore. And they tried to mimic this kind of <laughs> opaque glass from the old factory. I made a modern design out of it. Mm -hmm. So so this is supposed to remember the old industrial buildings. And inside is, as I said, the library. So the white small building in the back, that was the first LCSB building where I moved in in 2011. Mm -hmm. This was the very first building. My office was on the second floor on the right side. Mm -hmm. And you see these three towers here? Yes. They are full of ceramics. And you see there, this is the where they, they transported the iron ore and then put it into this oven, basically. Mm -hmm. But in order to save energy, what they did, they brought from all these pipes in the back, mm -hmm. cold, fresh air. But, of course to heat this up so that the steel was cooking they wanted to save energy so they made a, a counter current uh, procedure where the cold air was flowing against the exhaust the hot air from the previous cycle of steel cooking mm -hmm. and then the hot air warmed up the cool air and the way that it was done is this cold air was going through these ceramics here, which was heated up by, by the hot s steam or the hot air from the previous uh, uh, steel um, heating and melting. And, and so the LCSB was basically, I could almost touch, <laughs> uh, touch this. And you see the design here? They were afraid of graffiti and things like this, so they put it all in water. Mm. So you, you can't, you know, just go on there. They worked a few years. What, how they could conserve this as a memorial in a way. So they tested 
different paints how to so that it wouldn't corrode mm -hmm. you know steel like this this is very much in danger of corroding yes oxidizing Start of LCSB. I moved in here with 30 people. It holds a hundred. What what exactly did you do here? What what's uh, the the goal of this? Institute? Well, I, I decided to go for computational modeling uh, and simulation of uh, neurodegenerative diseases, mm -hmm. and we focused on Parkinson's disease. But the whole LCSB is focused on brain or everything? The, the, the majority, half of the LCSB is focusing on Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. Now, I was here 12 years after founding it, the center. When I left, my successor added Alzheimer's disease as a second research topic. Mm -hmm. So now the, the study is basically focusing on neurodegeneration diseases in general. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and neuroinflammation and lifestyle and genetics and how do these diseases develop and how can you find drugs that counteract them. So if anyone wants to focus on uh, Parkinson or Alzheimer's, this is the place to go. Yeah. Yeah. In Both Europe. From, from experimental, but there are also clinicians, neurologists, doctors and a lot of computer scientists and a lot of bioinformatics, data science. Mm -hmm. How do you do machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence to mine data. Um, so, in the back, this is where the lectures are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's called Maison de Savoir. Savoir means knowledge, the house of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Maison is house in French. Mm -hmm. This is the cafeteria. Ah, oh, okay. This over here, this, this building, that's a computer building. There are where the, the, a lot of computers uh -huh, are inside. Uh -huh. And this one, the black one here in the back. This is uh, called Maison de Nombre, the house of numbers. Uh -huh. This is where mathematics is inside. Uh -huh. So also mathematics is here? Oh, mathematics, physics. Uh -huh. They don't have a big chemistry program at this point. They are thinking about it. But uh, yeah. So over there, the big building. This is the main university building where all the administration is. And the square, you know, rectangular to that, yeah. this is where the lectures are. Ah, uh -huh, okay. And you go in here, these are the lecture halls. You go up to the lecture halls, there you go to the, you see, administration. Mm -hmm, this is mm -hmm. administration. So, so that's, the, this is the core of the university. Can we university. go in? Think yeah, yeah, sure, we can go in, of the, course. Mostly this part, I guess, the course is yeah. more interesting. So did you also teach here, yes? Yes, I, well, I, I was a director of a center with 250 people, so I had not a lot of time for teaching, mm -hmm. but and I was completely exempted from teaching, but I did teach mm -hmm. first semester biology students developmental biology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is going over a couple of uh, floors. Mm -hmm. You can go in, take a look at some of the yeah. lecture halls. Nice. Yeah, we had a lot of meetings here in these buildings. Also, conference room. Yeah, yeah, uh, conference room. Here, yes. Yeah, some cafeterias. Mm -hmm. I mean, small ones. So I, I can say that all of the bachelors are here. 
yes? Yeah, the teaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah the, all most the of the bachelors well, just, yeah. you know, Absolutely. coming here. And the masters and PhDs... Same, same, it's not Yeah, separate. but if they want to uh, have the laboratory, it's not here. Yeah, no, that's in different buildings. These are not laboratory buildings here. This is only for teaching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go one higher up, and then we go down. But here, like Germany, PhDs doesn't need to, don't need to participate in any class in PhD. No, as a PhD student, you do have to take some classes, uh -huh. um, like some ethics course, uh, uh, depending on which topic, some some good scientific practice. But yeah. not any course, for example, like. I don't know mathematics or other things. Mm, the, it depends the on the science. It, it depends. No, oh, okay. but you can take some seminars and so. Yes. So these are big lecture halls here. I don't know whether it's open here. No, it's closed. Yeah. So you see long floors mm. of lecture halls. Um, yeah, they have big ones and small ones. They call them auditoires or salle de cours. Okay. Classical seminar room. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a normal class or the yeah, these are normal classes. Okay. Yeah, you have bigger ones, the really big lecture halls. <laughs> Let's see what uh, is here. They are working. Okay. Let's see. You see the big one. Yeah. Okay, you got an idea? Yes, yes. Oh, it's this one is empty and it's really big. Okay. So I think in this one or one like this one, I was teaching developmental biology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. So there are so many big rooms like oh, here. Oh, the whole building is full of it. Mm -hmm. digital history and so on and one question this university is free to study yes you don't need to pay you don't pay tuition anything no, or nothing oh, because I heard that for PhD you have to pay around 500 no, per semester not that I know oh, okay. new to me and but for example uh, like other universities the funding is just for PhDs not for masters yeah, yeah. Masters don't get money, mm -hmm. salary or scholarship, you need to have that from somewhere else. And as a PhD student, you usually only get recruited if there's some kind of a scholarship or, si or, or funding available. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And about the, uh, you know, do you think that Luxembourg is expensive, yes? Compared to Germany, I guess it's... I would hard. say it's probably on average about 20-30% more expensive to live here. Mm -hmm. But less than Switzerland, yes? Yeah, um, I don't know. Hard, probably a little bit less, but uh, not so much different. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, um, everyone thinks that uh, Luxembourg is luxury and expensive. But compared to other countries in Europe, I don't know really. In Switzerland, I know that Switzerland is super expensive. 
you yeah. know, like compared well, to other. You, see, you know, a lot of things <laughs> like public transport is free here, as you noticed. Yes. Um, rent is extremely high. Yes. And it's hard to find apartments in places. Many people live in Germany and then commute, come over. In front of you mostly, yes? Yeah, but the problem is when you are a non-European student, uh, I don't think you, you have a, a stay permit in Germany. <laughs> mm -hmm, yes. Yeah, yeah, so you have to live in the country. Oh, yes, yes, so exactly. That is a little bit annoying. So, yeah, let's just walk over here. It's a nice fast and then we come back. Mm -hmm. So you can stay in other countries unless you, you have the passport. Have, yeah, yeah, you, if you have your passport, you can freely travel or mostly, but you can't live there. Mm -hmm. Like Feng, you know? Yeah. He, he, he could not live in Trier, although it would have been more cheaper. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see a second? There's a second uh, furnace? Yes. There's a, and the third one they disassembled. So. Mm -hmm. When you came here, it was unassembled or they, it was, they were this was, this was all not there. Uh -huh, okay. Oh, very little, and just a huge construction site, and just noise everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was really beginning. And there, there is another thing at the back of the university, and I don't know if is there another factory. Yeah, this is Arcelor Mittal, the major, the old factory, uh -huh, and uh -huh. it's still the residual. It's in, the, in this, this part yes, yes, exactly. The so it's uh, still working. Yeah, yeah, it's still oh, okay. working. They still have a few thousand people working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, specialized in special steel but they don't do ore melting they do recycling of metals uh -huh. and then they do actually they now use electro melting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the very strong current yeah in the back they, they're still working there. yeah Um, what is the red one? The red building? Oh, this is a new building. It's a, it's a music hall. Mm. They have very, very famous musicians coming over here. Ah. Of the world. They may give concerts here. But so it's not um, the music is a school. No, 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 no. 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 Just it's a concert hall. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. But, a, but a very nice one. And, and there, this is the entrance to the train station. Yes, the white one. And yeah. the other. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. This is a nice restaurant. I really like to go in there. It seems to be closed today. There's an exhibition in the Masse Noir about the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we don't have time to go in there now. And uh, what about the other building, the the in tall the back, one? It's just an administrative yeah. building. Ah, uh -huh. so uh, it's not uh, no. for the university? No. Ah, okay. No, it's not. But it's good for the students. They have everything here. Yeah, they can, but you know, many students, they, uh, at least the Luxembourgians, they want to live home. Y you don't need to travel far. Within one hour, you're everywhere. Yeah, it's just 20 minutes from here. Everywhere, to then the you're at home. Yeah, yeah. So why <laughs> would you pay a lot of money when you can stay at home? Yes. With your mom, and she cooks for you. Yes. You know. Some advantages, some disadvantages. Of course, the foreign students. You know, this is different. 